Hey guys, so the specifications for NVIDIA's upcoming 1180 have been leaked. We believe, or the, the world believes, that they are close to being true or 100% true. Uh, I actually just did a video on my other channel and I talked about it. In this video, it's going to be slightly different because in that video, you know, that channel obviously focuses on cryptocurrency. I was talking about the card from a cryptocurrency mining point of view, but obviously in this channel, I want to focus more on the gaming, gaming kind of side of things, the gaming uh, specifications. Uh, so you can see here, the rumored GTX 1180 may have been leaked. And you can see all the specs in this table. So the previous range of cards were called Pascal. These ones are called Turing. And, you know, there's a lot of specs here to take in, but to me, there's a, uh, some of the most important ones are the CUDA cores. Uh, this one is important because 3584 is actually the number of CUDA cores that you get in a 1080 Ti. And a lot of the specs um, can be compared to the 1080 Ti. In many respects, the 1180 is going to be a cheaper, more efficient 1080 Ti. Um, you can see down here the price at $699. Obviously, I'm talking about the Founders Edition here. Um, this is what this is. Um, and what else we got here? We've got the Core Clock at 1600 MHz. Boost Clock of 1800. Um, memory Interface, 256 bit. Memory Bandwidth, 512, which is a little bit higher than the 484 in the 1080i. Uh, interface width there is actually higher. Um, and then it's got 16 gigabytes per second for the memory speed. That's a jump from 8 gigabyte in the 1080 and 11 in the 1080 Ti. Um, so there's a lot of things to take into account there. This other article talks about how the, um, the bus is bigger and the bandwidth speed is going to be a lot faster. Um, you can see here, uh, predicts that the 1180 could offer performance 1.51 times higher than the 1080 and 1.18 times faster than the 1080 Ti. Such predictions should be taken with their own he heaping teaspoon of salt. Tablespoon of salt, sorry. I don't know where I'm reading teaspoon from. <laughs> Tablespoon of salt. Um, yeah, so say 20% faster than a 1080 Ti, if that's right. 18 to 20%. Um, this is the thing, you know, this, this is the 1080 version. The, the 1180 is like this year's 1080 version. Um, $700, but um, it looks like it's going to be a more efficient 1080 Ti. The bigger question uh, really for gamers and for miners and for anyone who's trying to buy a graphics card for encoding, for video work, any kind of anything like that um, is availability. Um, the cryptocurrency market has without a doubt disrupted the graphics card market. Um, now a lot of people are putting the blame on miners but I think you know Nvidia should have did some things different. They should have released dedicated mining cards. Um, I don't believe they're going to yeah, cripple these cards in any regard or restrict them in any way so that it can only be used for gaming. I don't think there's anything like that in the cards. We could be wrong, um, but we'll see what happens. Um, but on a positive note, on a positive note, in theory, in theory, depending on how the cryptocurrency market goes, but in theory, when the 1180 comes, down, uh, comes out, you should be able to get it if you place your order in in time. Um, you know, that if, if you order through NVIDIA, they normally limit it to one or two. We've seen a lot of retail shops limit uh, purchases to one or two cards as well. Um, but not only that, we should see a lot of people selling their older cards. So we might see a lot of people selling their old 1080 Ti's, gamers and cryptocurrency miners. And we might see people selling the 1070s and the 1060s and all that as well. We should see a lot more cards on the market. We should see more on eBay and we should see the retail price of a lot of the Pascal cards going down. So, yeah, whether you, you'll buy a card at launch, whether um, availability, availability is going to be uh, restricted. We're just guessing at this point, guys. Really, I'm just guessing. But um, as far as the card goes, it looks really, really good. I mean, effectively, that's going to get... If I had to buy those two cards today, I mean, say I spent like £1,800 on my 2.10 80Is for my PC, I would be getting more powerful cards uh, or, you know, very similar performance, or, uh, if not 18 to 20% more. But I would be getting it at a fraction of the cost. Uh, and that's significant. Now, obviously, we've still got this year's 1180 Ti. We've still got the 1170, 1160, and, you know, all those kind of cards to come out. But for the, the first kind of commercial one for the Touring one, not c counting the, the, the expensive three grand one that was out a few months ago, uh, this looks quite good. So, um, of course, put an asterisk here, guys. This is just the rumours. There's no official statement as yet. Um, but 
there's a lot of things to like here, you know, with regards to the higher memory speed, the higher bandwidth, a little bit over the 1080Ti. Uh, also, from a from an efficiency point of view, the, the 1080Ti has uh, needs 250 watts, um, and this one says 170 to 200 watts. I suspect is going to be 180 watts. So we'll see over the next few months. These cards might not come out to July or August. Um, but it should turn the the gaming world and you know the cryptocurrency world as well on its head. So a new line of cards. See, we'll see what's going to happen. See what's going to happen. Let me know what you think, guys. Leave a comment down below. Uh, I don't want to turn this into a gamers versus cryptocurrency mining thing in the in the comment area. But yeah, let me know what you think, guys. I think that when this comes out, we're going to see a flood of cards going on to eBay, Craigslist, and all that kind of thing. So. We'll see what happens. But I'll link to these articles. You can check them out for yourself. And as always, please do leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Till next time, guys. Cheers.